of all state revenues go to non-gaming tribes. The choice is clear. Yes on 27. Today in L.A. at 6. where Artemis One remains grounded this morning. The launch director stopped today's launch attempt after running into an issue with one of the rocket's engines. It was not cooling to the proper temperature for liftoff, and the team ran out of time in today's two-hour launch window. So the next available launch opportunity will be Friday. However, there is no guarantee that NASA will try again at that time if the problem can't get fixed. A successful test flight would pave the way, though, to eventually take humans back to the moon and then on to Mars possibly one day. Good morning, everyone. I'm Michelle Vias. And I'm Robin Winston. Adrian is off this morning, but Belinda De Leon is back. Yes. And tracking some dangerous heat, though, coming to our area. Oh, here it comes. Yes. A heat wave all week. Meteorologist <laughs> Belinda De Leon with that information. I know. And before I get into the forecast, I mean, we're talking about uh, uh, astronauts and the Artemis mission. Have I told you guys my baby astronaut joke? No. no. Okay, well, don't stop me if you okay. heard it, okay? <laughs> okay. How do you get a baby astronaut to sleep? Oh, how? You rock, rock it! it. <laughs> All right. Well, we're launching into the work week with a pretty nice Monday forecast. Let's get into it with this view <laughs> from Malibu pointing out towards the basin where we do have some clouds, some areas of patchy fog, but above the clouds, well, we got that sunshine. So gradually it's going to clear. The numbers this morning are nice in the 60s. The mountains have temperatures in the 50s, so you may need the layer there. At the coast, 70. Bring the sun's for the base in Orange County. Today, believe it or not, is actually the coolest day out of the week because an excessive heat watch is expected starting on Wednesday, lasting all the way into the weekend. This is going to be several days of high heat and elevated risk of heat illness. Record highs are possible. I'll be back to cover it for you. But right now, let's take a look at that forecast. You may need a rocket to get over the morning drive. Hello, my <laughs> friend Holly Hanula. If only we could use a rocket to avoid traffic in L.A. Belen, good morning, everyone. News Chopper 4 is over the East L.A. Interchange. Roland Sproul is giving us a live look at a small brush fire under the 5 and the 10. Roland. Yeah, you might need a rocket to get past some of this traffic uh, with all the looky-loo uh, traffic and slowing that's going on here. This is the East LA interchange right between uh, two freeways, the westbound 60 and the northbound 5. LA City Fire Department just pulled up on scene. They're out of view right now. They're up underneath the overpass, but uh, this appears to be an encampment fire adding uh, you know, pressure onto an already very busy East LA interchange. Holly? And we hope that fire is out soon in East Los Angeles. We have a traffic alert that just went into effect in the uh, Diamond Bar area. It's on the east side of the 60 near Phillips Ranch Road. The three left lanes are closed. CHP hopes to uh, clear this by 730 this morning. I'll stay on top of this. You can always use the East 10 as an alternate route on the South 405 Mission Hills to the 105 will take you about 45 minutes. Yikes. It is uh, super slow through North Hills, Van Nuys and Sherman Oaks. You're at speeds in the 30s coming up, I'll take you to uh, Hacienda Heights. Michelle Robin, back to you. Holly, thank you so much. We have some breaking news now as we learn more about an early morning shooting in the heart of Hollywood. The LAPD tells us they're searching for at least two shooters armed with semi-automatic weapons and a gray newer model four-door sedan that may have been their getaway car. The shooting happened just after one in the morning near the corner of Hollywood Boulevard and Sycamore Avenue. Right now, this is a look. Hollywood is closed between Sycamore and Orange as officers search for more evidence. We're told the victim was rushed to the hospital in critical condition and homicide investigators have been assigned to the case, but the streets remain closed. The motive for the shooting still unclear. Many people in the San Gabriel Valley neighborhood are nervous after a violent home invasion robbery. That's right. Armed men broke into a home, tied people up and shot one of the victims. Those armed men are still on the run. NBC 4's Annette Ariola is live in Temple City where the brazen robbery happened early yesterday morning, right around this time, Annette. 
Uh, that's right. Robin, Michelle, good morning. Hello, everybody. A really frightening situation for everyone who was inside the home. We've been told that there was a two-year-old who was sleeping, and the two women who were inside were also zip-tied by the robbers. Now, the L.A. County Sheriff's Department Temple City Station says two men wearing black face, black face masks broke into the home on Longden Avenue around 4.30 early Sunday morning. They say the intruders waited for a man to come home and then demanded money from him. Now, the armed suspects then shot the man in the elbow took off with about $2,000 in cash. The victim was taken to a nearby hospital. He is expected to make a full recovery. But again, the incident has really put this entire neighborhood on high alert. Take a listen. We just feel terrified because we feel like in this kind of community, it's supposed to be very safe. Investigators believe the suspects broke in from one of the doors or a possible window in the back of the house. They were last seen running down the driveway and out to the street. So far, no arrests have been made. We have been told that detectives did go around the area looking for surveillance video, trying to see if they could possibly identify these two individuals. That is the very latest reporting live this morning from Temple City. Annette Arriola for Today in LA. Thank you, Annette. Happening today, the captain of the Conception, a dive boat that caught fire near Santa Cruz Island three years ago, is due back in court. Jerry Boylan faces 34 counts of manslaughter for the deaths of all 33 passengers who were on board and one crew member. He's pleaded not guilty. The Conception caught fire as everybody on board was sleeping over Labor Day weekend. This was back in 2019. Investigators say the victims were trapped below decks and their only escape route was blocked by flames. Well, this morning on the Today Show, the inspiring story of Ted Walsh. He's a former teacher at Harvard Westlake High School in Studio City who touched the lives of so many students. Walsh is living with an incurable form of cancer, and he has stopped treatment. So right now he's embracing the life he has left. And one of his former students, NBC's Jacob Soberoff, who joins us live this morning. Good to see you, Jacob. Hey, Michelle. Tell us a little bit more about Ted Walsh and why he was such a special teacher, not just for you, but for so many others. Uh, Michelle, you and I have known each other for a long time. You know how much uh, Los Angeles means to me. Um, Herbert Westlake and Ted Walsh uh, mean just as much. I was born and raised here. Uh, I went through my entire middle school and high school at Herbert Westlake. Uh, everybody has a teacher who has changed their life. Uh, Ted Walsh yeah. uh, is mine. He's an extraordinarily inspiring person. He was my drama teacher, but he's taught people uh, in cinema studies and philosophy, art and science, uh, you name it.